This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are working on some foundation repairs today. So she's got a broken joist under here and then this addition over here is they didn't put any supports in there so we gotta so the whole the floor is sagging down and the doors don't close and things are cracking and everything else. So anytime you're working in a crawl space, these fans are critical. So you can have them blowing out or blowing in either way. But getting a breeze in there means it's a lot more comfortable to work and the dust just goes away as well. So I've got those two set up. I'm working right under here today, so I wanted to show you. Tomorrow we're going to be in that crawl space. So I'm probably going to put a couple more fans in there. But we've just got some drop cords run from the inside of the house on different circuits. So let me show you what we got going on over here. All right, so this joist right here is cracked. And you can see that it may have been a weak joist to begin with, but the main reason this thing is cracked is because of this blocking here. See the gap right there? These blocks are supposed to set really tight. And what the blocking does is it transfers the weight of, from one joist onto the two adjacent joists. And so you can see this blocking just doesn't look very good. And so a couple things to consider here. On this side of the joist, we're really, really close to support. So this part of the joist doesn't really need a whole lot of support. This part of the joist, however, does need a lot of support. And so you can see this goes quite a span across there. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to put a new beam across here, across probably five joists, I would guess. I think is what I want to do. And uh, we're going to sister some 2x10s on here and bolt and lag those on. So I'll show you that coming up. But I'm going to put one support jack right here and one support jack right here. And that'll give two support jacks across there so because this thing is so close to the the support over here I really wanted to get on this side and because of this blocking issue I wanted to span a few more joists just to, and put two jacks you could probably put a jack right underneath there and jack it up and call it done and it would probably be okay for a little while but because of these other issues I'm going to just do a really good job on it and so you may have noticed I've got a big auger bit right here. So take a look at that. So that works really well for drilling holes under crawl spaces. So there's my hole right there. Notice that I got all the fine stuff out of the bottom of it. So I'm down to pretty much hard dirt. And it's about, it's, it's about 17 inches deep right there. You can see a bucket fills in there, or fits right in there. And so there was four buckets full of dirt that came out of that hole. And we're going to fill it with concrete and set some jacks under there. And you'll see that coming up. Then we've got six more jacks. So we've got two jacks here and then we've got six more to do further down there under the crawl space. So that'll be tomorrow. Today I'm working alone, so I'm shoveling this uh, dirt into some buckets, but normally I would be shoveling it onto a little tool I designed and made called the sled, so I'll show that to you later. But for now, I just want to get these holes dug out and get the dirt contained. Once I get some more help here, we can get things going a little bit better.
fan is blowing. Look at how fast that dust blows away. So you're not sitting in here breathing dust all day. Anyway, I just got this other hole finished up. So it's looking pretty good. I've made a little bit of progress here and I wanted to show you real quickly. So I just set that beam up on those blocks and up on the bucket here. And I got the bottle jack underneath it. So it's it's kind of tight in there. But I wanted to show you too my two boards that I sistered on there before we get too far. So it's really critical that you get these boards in there to fit really nice and tightly so I spent a little bit of time got that thing in there got it in quite nice and so I just got them tacked in with a single screw on the end and I'm gonna get this thing leveled and then I'm gonna drill a bunch of carriage bolts through here and bring in some concrete and set my jacks but for now this is just temporary Alright, so I'm just getting this in here temporarily. I want to get my lag bolts and my sister set. So what I'm working on here is I'm just got a good sturdy support right here under this jack. And so I'm looking to close this gap right here. So what that's doing is that it's pushing right there and leveling everything out. So right about there should be pretty good. So it's pulling that together. Seven more. Well, I'm finished for today. We're gonna get some concrete over here and some a couple extra guys tomorrow. So this working alone, things don't go as quickly. But anyway, I wanted you to take a look. Got two two by ten sistered on that old bad one. And I've got eight bolts across there. So, should be in pretty good shape. Got some hurricane straps on there. And these bottle jacks will hold until tomorrow with no problem. So, probably just sistering this may have done a good enough repair for it, but we're gonna go ahead and set some jacks in here, and get this thing sent. I think this may have the distinction of being the smallest crawl space I've ever been inside. So that's a pretty tight squeeze there. This is pretty loose right here and I'm going to dig it out a little bit. I think it'll slide right out of there. So if we can get that frame out, that'll give us another three inches on each side. All right, let's get some fans set up and see what we got going on under there. We are back on this job. We have got our concrete mixer set up. This thing is a lifesaver. And we already got the concrete set for 
those two posts. So that's all done. And there was a little bit of extra concrete left over, so that's just extra. So we got the van, we want 30 bags of concrete for our eight posts. So more concrete gives you a better footer. Micro shovel. So since we're putting this on tape, let's go ahead and get this on the record now. Yep. That this is what Sean said he was not willing to do. Yep. Just wait till you see what you got in your care package. <laughs> okay. But he may have cut it too long. I figured we could always take more off. Nah, nah, I think this will work. And I know it looks like this is easy digging right now. That's because I have been drilling with this impact drill with a three quarter inch paddle bit on it for quite some time. I think the shovel is a perfect length. This is the this is the way to do it, but it's still slow. Alright, you want me to dump your sled? Sure. We are back on this job and I wanted to show you some of the tools we're going to be using. We've got some metal, these are thick metal self tappers for screwing the beam or the post into the beam. We've got some tap cons. These will anchor the post to the concrete footer. We've got a bunch of bottle jacks to go up there. We've got some 
magnetic torpedo levels to help us level our beams out. We've got a few double joist hangers and these are the perfect size for fitting that beam to the joist. We've got a couple of impact hammer drills, got levels, we've got shovels if we need them. I've got a bunch of these jacks, we've already got these taken out, they're over there. And since this is so low, I think we're going to end up having to cut some of those jacks. So I brought my cold metal cutting saw here and then we've got some, just some blocks if we need to block up the jacks or whatever we might need those for. So we should be in pretty good shape. It's called an action shot. You ready for me to set my jack? to jack it up and get some pressure on it? Sure. And see now that you got it lifted up a little bit, I bet I can get under it. Alright. Actually, this might lift it up. Here, let it bob for the camera. <laughs> All right. All right, does that look like it's straight on the uh, concrete? Yeah. Going up with, watch the, watch the uh, gas line. Yep.
Okay, I'm not going to do it.